Conor McGregor. He's a wanker. Wanker. <laughs> I'm Daddy Sarger III, local professional wrestling hype man, and also the keeper of the Spice Gauntlet. Yes, we are back again with the hot seat at Northern Chicken. We have a crew of people behind us here. Some of them are playing along with us. And what is the hot seat exactly? Well, it's a Spice Gauntlet. It's seven different house-made sauces covered in seven of Northern Chicken's chicken fingers. Each sauce getting increasingly spicier and the questions do as well of my guest, and my guest tonight is the incomparable, real deal, Brian Ford. Welcome to the show, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks I, for coming uh, out here. I'm, I'm sweating already. I'm sweating <laughs> already. Now let me, I just want to say it properly here. W, WBC, international lightweight champion? Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Champion. Light heavyweight. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accomplished boxer, accomplished MMA fighter. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Looking jacked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to see how accomplished I am <laughs> at eating these hot wings. Well, before, <laughs> before we have the first wing, uh, I'll throw up my first question for you. So, spicy wings, spicy fingers, spicy sauce. How do you do a spicy food? I'm all right. You all right? I'm all right. This is, I think, these here are a little different type of spice I'm can, used to. You can smell them. I can smell them. Yeah. I'm sweating already. Like I said, my hands are sweating. <laughs> what uh, What would you say is the spiciest thing you've ever had? Oh, I've tried the, the hot chili peppers before. Like, like fresh yeah, chili like peppers? Yeah, like in Thailand, the, the hot ones yeah. they got there, so. And I lost a couple pounds from sweating, so yeah. we'll see how these go. Well, getting down to the end here, this is it's a whole new world yeah, yeah. of spice. So <laughs> we'll try we'll try our first one here. This is the house sauce. All right. Uh, just an aged cayenne sauce, somewhere around like Frank's, sriracha kind of a bit okay. of a fermented taste, but yeah, e easy easy table sauce here at Northern Chicken. Oh yeah, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the whole wing because I'm hungry. I waited, I waited till today. I had a shake after the gym this morning. I waited for this chicken. That's it. So my stomach's probably gonna burn. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you get down to the other one, you kind of want to have a little bit of a base. But yeah, yeah. Maybe the shake's something. So. Oh, yeah. So for the viewers at home, Ryan's family's here. Yes. Yeah. And it looks like uh, your little guy RJ just got three of the fingers himself. Ryan Jr. trying to be he, like dad. He's playing yeah. along with it because he's <laughs> tough as dad is. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get along here because you're hungry. We want to get you eaten. Yeah. Um, obviously, accomplished MMA fighter, accomplished boxer. How did you find the transition from being an MMA fighter to a boxer? Was it. Hard, um, difficult, easy, simple. It was easier for me than most people would be just because um, I came up from a boxing background. Oh, okay. You know, my dad was Canadian lightweight champ, ranked three in the world. So it was in our in my blood, Yeah. right? Um, cool. So, you know, it's the fight game is a fight game, but just transferring over to boxing, you only get to use your hands. So no knees, no kicks, no elbows. So you got to be a little bit more patient, and it's... Uh, you know, it's a lot different than mixed martial arts. Yeah. Two totally different sports. No, you, you can see, like you said, you can use your whole body when it comes to MMA fighting, but boxing, it's just the hands, just the hands. three minute rounds, and there's no stopping. Just moving. Right? Mixed martial arts, five minutes, press the guy up against the cage for 45 seconds, put him down, hold him for you. Boxing, you clinch, break, right back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for round after round yes. after round. Yes. Yes. Well, on to our second one here. Uh, round two. One, well, round two. <laughs> <laughs> round two, fight. Yeah. Um, this one right here, fermented jalapeno, uh, very smoky. It's uh, fermented jalapeno sauce with a touch of uh, cider and white vinegar. It's one of my favorites, as usual. Not too spicy again. We're just getting in with a different flavor. Yep. It's bright green, so that's kind of interesting, too, as well. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, because you're not. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Not hurting you in any way. Not spicy at all. I'm going to eat the whole wing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. I tried it, Dad. Oh, now your daughter's trying it too. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's not even hot. <laughs> Tough like that. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's hot, it's probably hot, but they won't uh, show they, it. They ain't gonna show yeah, it. Yeah, not in front of that. <laughs> Poker face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, when it comes to you, you, you rep your city wherever you go. All your fights. I uh, had a shirt that said, uh, "I put on for my city." Yeah. And can't come out to the, come out to the matches to the so same song Jeezy. Yep. Does. You love Edmonton. What, what do you love about Edmonton the most? What, what makes you proud to call Edmonton home and to rep it around the world as a championship boxer and MMA fighter? This is where I was born and raised. You know, it's my city. Um, ever since I started fighting, you know, I had everybody the support. And uh, I feel that um, Edmontonians, they support their athletes, yeah. right? Um, you know, I started off mixed martial arts from, you know, fighting with uh, maybe 700 people to, you know, ending mixed martial arts with fighting with almost close to 4,000 people. So, you know, it's, um, the city's behind their people, you know? Mm -hmm. That's why I tell a lot of the promoters and stuff, Edmonton people don't care about who's from the States or from this person, you know, from these different places. If an Edmonton fighter isn't fighting on the card, they don't want to be there, they don't want to be there right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what I like is that Edmonton supports their athletes. Yeah, it's very, it's a close community. Even I find just from Northern Czech and the restaurants locally, everybody's out for, to help other Edmontonians, right? Yeah, 100%. And that's that's yeah. what I love. I, I love repping the city. We have a sh show with that about town where I go around the local businesses as well. Okay. And just showcasing them. Nice. Uh, on our dime, we just go out there to do a quick little short piece on them. And I, I love Edmonton. Yeah. Uh, Born, not raised, but moved back <laughs> here as soon as I was an adult, and I, yeah. I'm, I consider myself an Edmonton boy. My father, my grandmother, they're all Edmonton, so. Nice, nice. Thank you for repping our city so well. Uh, now I'm gonna hurt you with some more spice, and we're not hurting you yet. We're, we're at my sauce right now, the humanoid hot sauce. So this is a lot like the table sauce. It's a fermented uh, cayenne sauce. It's a base, and they throw in a little cumin and a little habanero, so now we're upping things up for the chick wise. I finished all right. my first one, but I finish my second. Well, this, this is, is a step better lesson. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. 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 Is this getting a little spicier? Still good flavor. Oh yeah, really good. A bit of lime in there as well. Yes, yeah, so I can feel yeah. it. I taste that. Mm. Finger licking good. <laughs> but the sweat is starting to come. Oh, yeah, there it's we go. It's starting to come. Yeah, I'm getting it too. It's starting to come. I haven't it's got to the like, point where the glasses are fogging up. Well, maybe a little bit. They're definitely wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just you wait, my friend. We'll be best smoking this milk down here right away. Right away. Um, on to our next question. <laughs> you do that for, as you breathe in. I can feel the heat in my mouth. So on to our next question: What would you consider throughout your career, whether it be MMA, boxing, even life, what has been your toughest opposition or toughest opponent? I would say life. Life. Yeah. You know, no opponent that I've ever fought has given me the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride that my my life has given me, yeah. you know? Um, you know, I, I've turned negative into a positive, and um, for me, yeah, that, that's, that, that by far would be my biggest opponent, was just my life, you know? Yeah, and you, you rep the living a good life, uh, you know, improving yourself, you look at your Instagram, what's your Instagram handle again? Uh, Ryan the Real Deal 4. Ryan Real Deal 4, for just looking at your Instagram, looking at your social media, you're just constantly pushing, trying to show people to, to fight, to strive, to be better, 
Uh, including you have your own gym as well? Uh, no, I, I train out of, train. Uh, uh, yes, I train out of my good friend's gym, the uh, Wolf House MMA. Yes. And, yes. Um, you know, that's where I am all the time. You know, I train people there. It's, um, it's my home. Right? Yeah, you just when had a, se a seminar too, Yeah, right? I just did a boxing seminar there. Um, my friend Parvez is a ex MMA fighter. He used to fight some MMA, and uh, so he started this gym up. And you know, we got a lot of people coming down. Uh -huh. I run seminars, uh, help out with the boxing. Yep. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a good gym. You know, people that are in the gym, it's like a family being there. Yeah. And yeah. you're there to just put in work. We don't care if you don't want to fight. If you're there just to get in shape or just train, uh, come down to the Wolf House and. Will make you a wolf. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I noticed that even you you welcome like with your seminars you welcome novice. Yes, from to beginner to advanced. advanced. You know that's You're the thing, right? Work with anyone. There is exactly. any air about anything. It's about no working it's together. Working together yeah. and you know making you feel more comfortable of what you want to feel, right? Yeah, yeah. That's no. the biggest thing. It's excellent, man. It's yeah. Excellent. All right. Let's get hot. Get yeah, let's get hot. <laughs> let's get hot with the seven pot. Seven, seven pot and pineapple. It's a mixture of uh, fermented seven pot peppers, so just various peppers, um, fresh and fermented pineapple, apple cider vinegar, and brown sugar. So it's got kind of a pineapple sweetness to it, but now the heat levels. The heat's coming. The heat's coming. The heat is coming. Next two are going to get warm, and then the last two are going to hurt. Woo wee! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot. The pineapple's deceiving. Whew. I don't know if I'm eating that whole wing. That whole wing is not getting eaten. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you take a bite along the journey, or new. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you're big enough that if you don't want to take a bite later on, you can just make some of those things. <sighs> oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I'm going to see. Ah, I'm gonna have it. He's going. He's used to it. Hey, uh, if he goes, I gotta go to him. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're not. I, I don't actually train for this. I have, I have spice in my life, like I'm good with hot, yep. but I don't sit there and try to increasingly... Hey, I took this last sauce home once, just to gain a tolerance. I put it on a piece of chicken, ate it. I haven't had the sauce since unless I come here. There's no point to gain a tolerance to that. It's... No. Woo-wee! And the water don't even do nothing. <laughs> no, no, that just that almost that actually intensifies it. It makes it worse, doesn't it? Yeah. The water, the water makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. Cools it down and then a chum comes the back. Put on your lips. Oh boy. Okay. How long can we go before we get to the milk? <laughs> Probably one more. One more. No more. The whole thing. <laughs> Oh shit. Daddy is sweaty. Whew. I'm gonna lose a couple pounds tonight. Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to check my watch. I have to see how my blood pressure is going. <laughs> well, yeah, it's got a heart monitor legs. on there. Got a heart rate monitor yeah, and everything. It's going on. See what happens. <laughs> we'll give you another question before your heart rate gets too high. So, again, an amazing career. You're still going strong. I, I just watched a recent, your recent boxing match, and I couldn't believe how you just duck everything. Like, like I know it's been said a million times, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, but like, just the way you moved and got out of everything your opponent, well not everything, but almost everything your opponent yep. was throwing at you, and then would lay in. Like I couldn't believe between you and him, how hard you laid in him with your hits. And then in the eighth round, I think it was the eighth round? Eighth round. Bam, hit him and he was out. Like he was down, he didn't get up. He, I think he moved, it, moved his arm a little bit. What would you say, and maybe even that fight, but what would you say is your, the greatest moment in your career so far? Well, winning this title by far. Yeah? Yeah. And I've, uh, I've won some titles, mixed martial arts. I've won uh, one in boxing. But this solidifies my spot in the boxing world. Um, the WBC is the longest lasting, most recognized belt in boxing history. Yeah. And um, 
I think I actually was the first uh, Canadian to win the international WBC belt. Oh, wow. We've had Canadians who have the world titles. Yeah. But I don't think a Canadian has gone over uh, to a different country and won the belt. It's hard to do that. Yeah. Especially you go to a decision, most likely you're not going to win that belt. I'm Canadian, he's German, German judges, boxing politics, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had it happen to me a few, for a few times. My last fight, you knock him out, judges can't say nothing. Nope. <laughs> nope, exactly. They can't say nothing, so, yes. So, by far, I believe this is my, um, my biggest accomplishment in my fighting history, for sure. Hopefully another... Uh a defense Hopefully uh, a defense, and then uh, I want a world title, yeah. right? That's that's what I'm in it for. So, Absolutely. Um, you oh, know. You're steamrolling now. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so we're on to a new sauce. This is, they always like to throw in new sauces on us. And so tonight it's called Hopped Up. It's habanero, seven pot peppers, beer vinegar, uh, dry hopped with uh, mango and tropical fruit notes. So there's, uh, it's kind of got like a, a beer meets tropical flavor here. Um, and yeah, we're getting real spicy now. I have not, I've yet to have this one. So you see this sweat dripping? That is going, yeah. I'm still doing surprisingly well. And I'm sweating, I'm sweating. How's our crowd doing? Oh, great. Yeah, that's right. with you. Well, <sighs> dig in. Dig in. Okay. Number five, hopped up. Round five. We're gonna get hopped up after this. Oh boy. Why you take a big bite? That's not bad. No, that wasn't actually that bad. Creep up the on one you. before that. <laughs> it's probably better to chew it. You made this, didn't you? Oh, it tastes amazing. <laughs> it's just not as hot as I thought it would be. Yes. It's getting there. <laughs> the hat's turned around for these now. <laughs> not off yet, just turned around, right? Are you going to finish it? <laughs> He did it, Daddy. I'm just wondering, wondering how I'm going to feel tomorrow morning. That, that is... Yeah. Uh, Burning? Yeah. I'm going to need some wet wipes. <laughs> as, they, as they like to say, say here... In with, the freezer? Yeah. Put your toilet paper in the freezer. <laughs> yep. freezer. That's what he said. I say, you know, I forget the toilet paper. I'm using wet wipes. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get a little ice on them. Freeze you know? yeah. <laughs> little ice sheet. Daddy, you got a pancake because of Oh, I like this guy. Okay, I'll finish. Can you it. be my co-host? <laughs> I'm finishing all these because when it comes down to the last two, there's gonna be no pressure to finish these. These are <sighs> no pressure. So as I was telling Ryan, <clears throat> I found out as I walked in today that uh, they occasionally they like to marinate the last two and like the Reaper mash, but. Apparently they let the new guy kind of go to town on it, and even when they were washing out the bowl, they were keeling over, barely able to breathe. So, so that's this one coming up next. These last two not only do have hot sauces, but they've been marinated in uh, hot peppers as well. So, yeah, I feel like I'm getting ready for a fight here. Well, they have to shake it up. Don't hurt me. Okay. Speaking of fights, my next question for you. Out of anyone, alive or dead, in their prime, who would you want to fight the most? In a boxing, MMA match, either or. Well, for me, it's about making money. So the guy who usually to fight Floyd Money Mayweather. <laughs> he is a midget compared to me. Yeah. But I have no problem punching him out for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> hey, I'll even let him punch me out for a hundred million. You know? Dollars. Yeah, yeah. So um, I would like to fight. Yeah, it's about the money, right? So um, Floyd Mayweather would be number one. Yep. You know, and then if we went back in the era of you know Mike Tyson, that would be another big payday. And then just to say, I fought the goat. Muhammad Ali, right? Yeah. yeah. Say you've been in the ring with Muhammad Ali, that's a big accomplishment. Absolutely. So, and I think um, there's one guy, or actually, yes, was he? A, I think uh, George Travalo, he's from Toronto. Yeah. I think he actually went 
12 rounds with Muhammad Ali. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, he's a heavyweight boxer from I Canada. know the name. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I, I've heard of him before. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he fought Ali. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. But Floyd, <laughs> Floyd, yeah, because it's the, the money. That's the money. It's all about the money, not right? Even, not Connor. I think he makes some money. With Con Connor. Oh, I make some money off Connor. Yeah. And I would bust him up. With. <laughs> he after I beat him, he would make his own hot sauce. <laughs> Forget his his whatever he's <laughs> making. His whiskey, he would make hot sauce. <laughs> all right, so it's getting intense here. In fact. Uh, the next one's called We're Not. Uh, we ain't fucking around. We ain't fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> trying to be good with the kids hey, here. I'm a dad. Hey, you know what? They've heard they've it. They've heard it. Yeah. You know, as soon as they leave our house, they hear everything. Yeah. So, you know what? Can't shelter them too much, right? No. Nope. <laughs> no, my daughter's heard it. Yeah. So I'd rather the, them hear it from me than hear it when they leave. Dad, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm telling you. I'm but sweating. Dad can say it. You can say it. It is <laughs> dripping. I know. <laughs> so, this one is the hottest you can get if you come in, sit down, northern chicken of course if you really put them to the test they'll make things hotter but this is hottest on the menu it's a dry house rub made with carolina reaper butch tea scorpion apocalypse red lava peppers smoked ghost peppers seven pot brain strain and maruga scorpions so this is uh, sauced and then dusted with all those peppers there it's a, it's a dry nashville hot chicken style and this one will get you in different ways because, like I said, that powder, that powder is intense. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get that milk ready. Put that right there. My, yeah. Man, you, know, you know what? Just let's just let's pour, pour a cup. Pour a cup. Pour a cup. Choke ah, it, choke it. Just in case. Yeah, eat that cool. There we go. So you got a. We got I like that. You got a battle one. Oh, ice cream. Yeah. 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 That's, what, that's what I was thinking when I gave him like ice cream. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have that for dessert. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, can I try and bite the thing? Alright. I'll give you bite it. No. No. You'll be taking you to the hospital. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we ready? Let's have a Okay. Oh, shit. You're taking the big side. Oh. Big bites. Get it done quicker. You ready? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <gasps> Don't drink your milk. Holy shit! It's not so much the spice on the outside; it's the marinated chicken breast. Oh yeah, you go ahead and eat that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, what? It just hits the throat. It's a dry spice. Uh. Oh. Oh. If he did it, I gotta do it. Oh. I can't. Get I... it, Dad. Get that whole thing. Oh. Put it all away, man. Put it all away. Did you put it all away? I'm working on it. Just don't lick your fingers. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> boy. Oh, uh, oh, try not to hit the milk. Get up for a second. Walk it off. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, take off your hat. Now. My hat off. I take my hat off. I'm dripping. Like I just got into a shower. I've done a few rounds. <laughs> this is six. <laughs> this is six. Oh. oh, oh, boy. That's it. <clears throat> okay. Ask me the question. Oh. Ask you the question. What do we got? <sighs> well, this one we're going to take it easy on because things are getting hot. Milk. No, no, no. Woo. Had to hit the milk. Ready the milk yet? Rapid fire word association. <sighs> Throw it a name. Oh, pardon me. I throw, I throw it a name. Say what's on your mind. All right. So we'll start. We've already said his name, but uh, Floyd Mayweather. Money. George St. Pierre. Oh yeah. The goat MMA. Ooh, Scotty Olson. The bulldog. My friend. Lennox Lewis. 
fake Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hot. That is hot. That's a hot steak. It's the hottest steak we've had all night. Shit, my mouth is burning now. Yeah. <laughs> lips. I don't even know if I I try not to let it touch my lips. Ew. I don't oh, know if I can even say it because my lips are burning. Melina. Majenovic. Majenovic. I'm trying to He's talk. He's saying her name's Merlina. 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 It's my tongue's gone. Jolina. No. Jolina. Majenovic. Oh. Yes. WBC Women's Champion. Oh. Ah. Conor McGregor. He's a wanker. Wanker. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, Mike Tyson. Iron. Oh. Damn. Well, the questions are over, but uh, my mouth is burning. Things, things aren't over yet. We got what, one more to go here. Take a moment. Swish that milk around. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. 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 Or our last one, Wednesday is going to suck 2.0, aka okay, the shitty Wednesday. There's nothing to say about this. It's just hot. It's yes, absolutely. <laughs> I've only ever been able to get one bite of this. I've never finished it. Okay. Actually, last time I Wait, might have got two bites in. Wait, is the first one to finish you guys? No one's finished the entire thing. <laughs> My mouth is already on fire now. I'm gonna call the fire, the fire department. Get them down here. Oh. Let's get that ice cream on, on, a, on hold here, right? Yeah, he's gonna need that. Mm. No, even with the suit on, I'm not sweating as much as I thought. You're sweating for the both of us. My eyes are hurting. My eyes are like sweating. <sighs> oh, we. Oh, damn. It's like my head's getting hot. My whole body's getting hot. Throat's oh. hot. And then about an hour or so, the stomach will be hot. <sighs> <sighs> now put Dairy Queen again, I'll eat her ice cream. Slurpee. <laughs> oh, every time I breathe out, it's like, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> you gotta eat that, Dad. I don't even need to do work here, because RJ is just pushing you along. Eat it, eat it. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday. Tomorrow's gonna suck. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow's Wednesday Wednesday. is tomorrow. Wednesday's gonna suck. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You ready? You ready? Stand up. Knock it out. Knock it out. Shit. I'm taking the little side. This <laughs> little side, yeah. Not a little side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Last one, let's go. Oh, guys, took a big bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Finish it. <laughs> oh, put, your, put my finger in your mouth. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. It's just pain. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> gargle the milk that shits on my throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's your first one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Definitely hit the back of the throat. Go ahead, as I ain't finished that oh, shit. No, 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 oh. no. It feels like panic from the moment it hits your tongue to the moment it hits your throat. Oh, shit! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 
I'm gonna take this jump and just go right in my face. Need to top me up? I just need some ice in my milk. Put a little ice and cubes in the milk. Oh, that's water. There's some. There we go. Top you up. Get me up. Woo! Little ice melt. Oh, I just. It lingers. So bad the sugar it takes. Just when you think. Yeah. Loose to the back of the throat, and then the meat personally started burning. Got a shot of vodka? Simple syrup. Oh. 50% sugar, 50% water. Oh. It's the only thing that's actually going to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. It's not going to get rid of it. Dad, don't do it yet. Bro, what are you talking about? Don't take it. Don't drink it. Just drink it out. Okay. It's the first time I've done this. We actually had one of our participants drink this. Oh. Holy shit! I'm drinking this. But you can drink it. How I make all the sauces? I just drink a half a bottle. Oh, that helps a bit. My nose is running. Do you guys want to do it? Oh, sorry. Yes, we had milk. He's on the last one right now. Good for him. How are you him. doing? <laughs> He's a beast. Oh, my <laughs> mouth! <laughs> so what you can do is you can take this home as a punishment. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's act up. Trust me. I'm putting some of this in your mouth. <laughs> you don't need soap. Let me hear you swear. Tabasco <laughs> sauce? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh, man. Just my hat is soaking wet. Oh, I can't handle this kid. <laughs> so, you finished it. Oh, much respect to you, sir. Whew. Now you get a chance to plug. You have an apparel line? If I can even talk. <laughs> my mouth is. Oh, shit. You obviously have sponsors. So, if, if and when and you can, pick one of the cameras. Feel free to plug away. I don't even want to breathe right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the toughest seven round fight you've had. Oh. <laughs> Seventh round was the toughest. <laughs> yeah, and in eight, you're going to knock me out this time. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, that's what we're about to do. I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> It's hot. Oh yeah, for sure. My best. I thought we'd be fine. Go get some Pepto Bismol. Pepto. Drink that Pepto Bismol. Yeah, sugar. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Oh. Oh, my hat is like, look at the, the water in my Oh, wow. Oh, my mouth is just still burning. It's the mo most you've ever sweat during seven rounds? Mm. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Oh, you're catching me do that. I did enough. Oh, oh. All right. Let's oh. uh, use the sponsors. Phone up here for a second. Oh. Hell no. <laughs> 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 mm. Oh, yeah. The first four are easier. The fifth one's good. The third one's smaller. Yeah. But six and seven, oh, it just hurts. They're brutal. They're sadists here. A northern chicken. Come down if you are a spice fiend. Put them to the test. See how spice fiend you are. 
We had a gentleman come in once and ask for the hottest thing that they can make. They brought it out to him, he took one bite of it, and he told them to go after themselves and walked out the door and he didn't pay for it. <laughs> right? So Matt and Andrew will take very good care of you down in Northern Chicken. They've taken great care of us tonight. Oh yeah. Well. Until the end. Yeah. <laughs> and they just didn't give a shit about us. <laughs> <laughs> they cared about us for the first four. Then they said you're on your own. Oh, man. Just breathing out is like... And you know, you know it was going to be scary when you showed up, sat down, and you saw the chef come out of the kitchen with, with the a mask, mask on. Yeah. With a gas mask on, yeah. Oh. Mm. How'd you like the spice? Is it good? You want to try this one? No. Come on, let's try it a little bit. Good mom. Mama bear. <laughs> come on, RJ. Here, touch my finger. Let me try. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going to be like, ah, you're going to cry. You want to cry in front of the cameras? No. No, no, no. Don't do it. You have to touch your mouth. No, I wouldn't even touch your eyeball now. I'm just going to lick it. Lick it. You're on camera. Lick it. Do 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 it. You can. You can. Stick your tongue out. Hurry. Do it. Do it. You watched him cry. You watched him cry. You watched him cry. Okay, no. Just lick it. Just lick it. Just lick it. Just lick it. Should I? Yeah. No, try it. 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 Try yeah, but your bite wouldn't stay right, so make sure you wipe your hand. Yeah, lick it. You're good. Yeah, wipe your hand. Get yeah, that in your eye, it'll hurt. Yeah. Just touch it. Oh, there you go. I didn't even get it. No, don't, Archie. <laughs> go ahead. There you go. That's good enough. Yeah, that would be good. There you go. Oh, that was good. That was good. Good job. Good I don't think you got any touch of the game. I don't know if we can do it. Is it hot? No. Hot? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's hot, bro. Trust <laughs> <laughs> me. Have a bite. My hat no. weighs like a pound now. No, no way. Don't bite. 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 You ever need to sweat some weight off? I know. <laughs> Come down and have a bite. <laughs> Just a little bit. Waves off. coming up. Give me the shitty wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here they are. Hey, Daddy, Don't make guys. Right you throw it, I know. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you coming out, bringing the family, bringing this tough guy over here, RJ. Yeah. Putting on a show for everybody else here. Can I so. Look it? Yeah, plug away at some sponsors. Yes, yeah, do it. Your apparel yeah. line. Yes, uh, you guys can go check out realdealathletics.ca. Uh, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, Ryan Ford, Ryan the Real Deal Ford on Instagram. Uh, and if you're in Edmonton, I'll come personally meet you, hook you up with gear. Um, sponsors, Go, Go Auto, Team Ford, uh, give me a brand new F-150 truck. I got um, Royal Empire Jewelry. Is it supposed to be making your ears look like they're Ring plugged? Ring a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how hot it is. <laughs> My ears are plugged. Um, uh, Elite Auto. Uh, I want to thank, uh, who else? Tidax Fitness. Um, USG Canada. They make my outfit. Sober and Extracts. Uh, top CBD out there. Who else we got? We have... Uh, oh, uh, <coughs> prime, uh, prime tattoos on Stony Plain, uh, Stony Plain Road. I can't even think proper. My mouth is burning. My ears are plugged. Everybody who supports me, much respect and much love. And everybody who don't support me, same thing. Much love and respect. You know, because you watching me, so at the end of the day, you still support me, even though you think you're not. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for the hot seat. Brian Ford went every round and knocked it out of the park. And still. And still. And still. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Everyone, thank you.
for coming out. This has been another edition of Hot Seat. We'll be back real soon with another one. Patty Archer III saying, Archer out. Oh. Woo. Oh, you do this every Tuesday? Once a month. Oh, yeah. Yeah.